Can you imagine what a flush toilet would have been like a thousand years ago? Hey, what's up? It's Indy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today, I wanted to cover a very interesting topic that I realized I haven't looked into before, and it is the greatest inventions from India. So I know a couple off the top of my head, yoga, of course, and shampoo, I'm pretty sure was invented in India, but this video has a bunch more that we're gonna learn about. So without further ado, let's watch. Hey, 12 hey. great inventions we can thank India for. <laughs> We all know though. that India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world, with a super rich culture and history. Super but did you know that culture. some of the stuff you use every single day was invented in this country? From the buttons on your shirt <laughs> to the shampoo in your shower, watch this video till the end to well, find I'm out what brilliant things we can thank India for. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications to keep up with Did our that updates. Say home remedies for silky feet. All right, number one, the zero. People in cool. ancient times had always thought that there should be some sort of a sign to indicate nothing. That's funny, huh? You don't really think of zero. Well, their worries were put to rest in the invented. fifth century A.D. When Aryabhata, an Indian genius of math and astronomy, invented the zero as a symbol to represent nothing. That's so cool. It made addition, subtraction, and a slew of other mathematical operations a whole lot easier. Wow. You can see the oldest zero in existence carved in the wall of a temple in Gwalior, India. If you're Are not you sure a big fan kind of, of math and the invention of zero seems like nothing too important to you, just think, without it, we would have no binary system and no computers. <laughs> How do you like that zero now? <laughs> Number two, rulers. rulers. The Indus Valley civilization was cool. using rulers in 1500 BC and earlier. Made from ivory, these rulers were found during excavations oh, in what is present-day like Pakistan rulers, like, and northwestern India. Like we have these days. Apparently, they were widely used in architecture with pretty amazing accuracy. Wow. They had units corresponding to 1.32 inches that were marked with extremely precise subdivisions wow. within five thousandth of an inch. Number That's three, so cool. chess. This all-time top game for intellectuals is also an Indian invention. Its ancestor was called Chaturanga, and it was a strategic board game popular during the Gupta Empire, around 6th century AD. Chaturanga. Like the chess we know today, this game had various pieces with different value and capabilities. It also had an important king figure, and winning the game depended on the fate of the king. Another popular board game brought to us by India is Snakes and Ladders. What? The original version was called Mokshapat, and it was invented by a 13th century poet and saint by the name of Gyandev. That's cool. The snake stood for vices, while ladders were virtues. During okay. India's time under British rule, the game made its way to England and later to the US. Number 4. Plastic Surgery in the 6th century BC, an Indian physician named Shushruta created a huge reference book on medicine and surgery. Hmm. It was one of the world's earliest works of his kind. Shushruta, often called the father of surgery in his home country, described the use of hundreds of medicinal plants Are and instructions scary? for performing surgical procedures, including nose reconstruction and skin transplantation from one part of the body to another. Oh my gosh. The original method of rhinoplasty that involved taking a piece of skin from the forehead to reconstruct the nose is even still used today. But back then, nose jobs were done to help people who had been deprived of their noses as a punishment for theft or adultery. Oh Ooh, gosh. How times have changed. Number 5. Cataract Surgery Sushruta not only invented plastic surgery, but also performed the first cataract surgery. Oh my gosh, he used what? a curved needle to remove the lens from the affected eye. This revolutionary procedure soon became popular outside of India. Patients and doctors from around the world visited the surgeon to get operations done 
and learn from his experience. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. The genius surgeon never turned anyone away. He said that he got all his knowledge from the god of Ayurvedic medicine, Don Von Terry. <laughs> Number 6. Wireless Communication When you think of the pioneer of radio communication, Guglielmo Marconi probably immediately comes to mind. And that's Actually, for good reason, no, of course. Did not immediately come to mind. He even received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1909 for his innovative work. Cool. But Sir Jadish Chantra Bose presented his discovery of radio communication waves to the public in 1895. He sent an electromagnetic wow. wave across 75 feet at the town hall in Calcutta. The wave passed through walls, rang a bell, and ignited some gunpowder. Marconi used Bose's invention, the Mercury Coherer, That's as a so pattern cool. to build his operational two-way radio. Bose never patented his work, so he was only credited for his discovery a century later. Mm. Number 7. The USB Dang. The USB, or Universal Serial Bus, is a way more recent invention than wireless communication, of course. It was brought to us by A.J. Bott, an Indian-American computer genius that was working as an engineer for Intel back in the 1990s. He came up with the idea of a universal port for devices as he was putting an SD card into his computer. Remember those things? <laughs> the device instantly became a huge hit. Bot himself didn't get money or official recognition for his invention, as he's always insisted that it was the result of teamwork. Wow. Today, the amount of USB devices used worldwide is over 10 billion items making it the most used computer gadget out there. Wow, interesting. Number 8. Yoga Classic. Hit that like button if you've ever tried yoga. Mm -hmm, I have. If you keep practicing it and see the positive changes in your life, then you should thank India for it. The first yoga guru was Lord Shiva, also known as Adi Yoga. People in northern India were practicing this spiritual exercise over 5,000 years ago. The word yoga was even mentioned in the Vedas, India's oldest sacred text. The Brahmins further developed the art of yoga and documented their experiences in a treatise with over 200 records. That's amazing. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi came up with the idea to celebrate Yoga Day on June 21st, and it's now an actual international holiday with millions of followers. <laughs> I have to participate. Number 9. Natural Fibers Nothing feels better than the touch of natural cotton on your skin. India invented natural fibers? We could have been deprived fiber? of this situation if it weren't for the bright minds of India. Unlike the ancient Greeks, who wore animal skins, the Indians started cultivating cotton back in the 5th and 4th centuries BC. Wow. They used cotton threads to produce fabrics that soon became a huge hit in the Mediterranean and beyond. Jute and wool also have their origins in India. Kashmir, the finest and most exclusive type of wool, actually comes from the Kashmir region of India. That's so cool. Number 10. Flush toilets. You can probably see by now that the Indus Valley Civilization came up with so many genius inventions. And flush toilets were one of them. Next. Believe it or not, home toilets connected to a complicated sewage system with canals, irrigation, and smart water management existed in the land of spices over 5,000 years ago. Pure genius. <laughs> Number 11. Shampoo. The word so shampoo comes from the Hindi word shampoo, I mean, which means to massage wow. or knead. The substance was invented in India in 1762 and was originally used for head massages, hence the mm -hmm. name. The first shampoo was made of natural oils and herbs. British colonial traders fell in love with the idea and brought it back with them to England. It took years for the original head massage oil to evolve into shampoo as we know it today. But fact is fact. You have the Indians to thank for the beauty and cleanliness of your hair. <laughs> Thanks, Number <India>. 12. Buttons. <laughs> this clothing staple is at the top of our list. 
So simple, yet revolutionary, the first buttons were found during excavations in Mohenjo-Daro, one of the largest settlements of the Indus Valley civilization, yet again. Over 5,000 years ago, buttons were made of seashells and used as an ornament and not for fastening clothes. But they had two holes in the middle right from the start. So, are there any inventions on the list that you can't live without? Let's discuss it in the comment section. Be sure to hit like and share this video if you found it useful. And if you're new here, subscribe to our channel to not miss any of our cool updates. <laughs> Remember, life is always better on the bright side. That's so cool. Wow. So he listed the fact, yes, uh, flush toilets were invented in India, and it's like, oh, okay, that's interesting. But then he said they were invented, what, like, <laughs> centuries and centuries ago? I forget. It's right on the tip of my tongue. I forget how long ago, but it was a really, really long time ago, way before you would even imagine that flush toilets were a thing. So if you really think about it, and you think about the civilization of the Indus Valley, it must have been incredibly complex. And we're talking possibly more complex than Rome. You know, it's just amazing, the technology they had. And we can't even fathom it. We can just think kind of vaguely what a flush toilet would have been like back in those days compared to what we have now, but it's amazing, you know? It just blows my mind when I think about it. I was just thinking about how interesting of a fact that was, but it didn't really sink in until a minute later. So the thing is, you know, it's kind of funny to think about things like the number zero and buttons actually had to be invented. We take those things for granted a lot and we don't think about the time before they existed because they just seem so simple and obvious. But yes, indeed, there was a time before the concept of zero existed. Like, how do you, how do you conceptualize bartering, selling things, doing math without the concept of nothing? Like, that's so crazy. It's the little things, right? It's definitely the little things. So that's kind of, if you want to invent something and maybe change your life and change everyone else's life around you, try to think small, think simple. Don't think crazy. But it's just incredible how India is not really properly conveyed. Ideas of India aren't properly conveyed in the media. It's, there have been so many amazing and wonderful things that have come out of India, but nowadays all we hear about is the negative things, the poverty and the, I don't know, negative statistics and stuff. And it's a shame, you know, which is why I think it's so good for us to all enjoy this channel together, for me to make these videos and share them with people and you guys. Maybe I'm sure you're learning things about your own country. I'm definitely learning things. And it's been a lot of fun and it's really cool too. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. You're the best. And if you're not a subscriber, click that subscribe button and join our happy little family here. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.